Hello guys and welcome back to a new tutorial, this will be a series of videos, to teach you the methods of making some organic shapes in architecture field, but before that, let us talk about the word organic, to my perspective, organic architecture means something's related to nature, inspired by its own shapes, and blend with the surrounding nature elements, and you can see here some examples of that. A quick search for organic buildings and you will notice that, most of them rely on curves to blend with nature, so, with that being said, let us jump into Blender. Let me just clean the scene here, so, in the add menu, under mesh category, you have the main two spheres, each of them can be shaped into organic structures, the UV sphere, and, the Ico sphere, let me put them near each other for you to see the difference. I will also turn on wireframe in the overlays to make it more clear, so, the Ico sphere on the right has triangular faces, the UV one has it squared, now for this part, we will make something like this shape. As you see in this image, the outer shell has this curve along it to the top, however, both the glass and the metal structure have straight lines, so, for that reason we will go with the UV sphere this time. I will add it again just to make it a bit smoother. Double the numbers in both the segments and the rings. Press tab while selecting the sphere to enter edit mode. Now, using face selection, highlight the bottom half and delete it. And we end up with this shape. Make two copies from it for both the glass and the metal parts and name them here in the layer section to make the process easier. Use the eye icon to hide the new copies, now, to make the curve that we saw in the image. We need to twist this shape around its origin axis. In the modifiers panel, look for something called simple deform. The modifier has four options, and the one we need is already on. Make sure to choose the correct axis, in our case it's the Z1. You can also experiment with both the angel and the limit options. The limits automatically applied on the entire shape, changing the numbers will reduce the effect on the mesh as shown. Let us hide the outer shell for now, and bring back the metal structure, to make this one, first, I will scale it down a bit, then, using wireframe modifier, we can achieve the main shape. A thickness value of 0.01 is fine here. Also, add another modifier called subdivision surface, and as you see, this one would change the connections between the metal parts into curves, increase the viewport subdivisions to match the render one, just don't exaggerate with it, anything over 3 would be too heavy on your machine, apply the modifier once you done. Now back to the exterior shell, the glass intersecting with it, so just scale the glass mesh down a bit. After that, 
Select the shell and press tab to enter edit mode, I will delete some parts of it to make the glass and the metal visible, hold control and select it as you see fit. Once you done, press X and delete the highlighted faces, now, add some thickness to the shell with solidify modifier. We can also use the subdivision modifier to smooth the shape. I added a loop cut here just to make sure the shell sits on the ground after adding the last modifier, and as before, increase the viewport number and apply the subdivisions. Now all this work that we made, are in the default scale of the sphere, so, just scale it up by something around 8. And press it down on the Z axis as shown. Now, to make a simple scene from this, add a plane under this dome, after that, move around the scene until you have a nice view of the building. From Shift A. Place a camera in the scene and hit Ctrl, Alt, number bad 0 to put the camera in the view. In the camera settings, change the focal length to 36 to include the dome inside the frame. You can also turn on the lock camera view option for much easier control of the camera. Now, in the render panel, make sure you are on Cycles Engine, change the device to GPU if you have a good graphic card, and turn on Render Region to make the render process inside the camera frame only, once you done with that, hold Z and switch to Render View, so, we need light to see the stuff we made, from Add, add an area light to the scene, move it over the main building and scale it up to fit. In the light settings, experiment with the light power, leave it on 300 for now. To add materials to our meshes, first, select the exterior shell and in the material settings, hit the new button, change the color to something you like, I will go with gray gold color or something between those two. And to make it reflective a bit, we will increase the metallic value and decrease the roughness. For the glass panels, I will use a blender kit material called heavy glass, I use it quite often because it's not that heavy and gives a nice look. In the metal structure, add a new material, change the surface to glossy, and make the roughness value 0.1. Also in the world color, make it all the way down to black.
we can also make the ground plane a bit reflective, so add a new material to it, and as before, increase the metallic a bit and decrease the roughness. I did also here copy the area light two times, one of those lights will have a blue color, and the other one will be orange, and let's see how it looks. So, switch back to render view. I think it looks nice. Still the light sources are showing in the reflections, to fix this, we need to turn of the glossy option in the ray visibility. Now that we've finished, we can increase the upper light to something around 800. I did make the glass intersect with the shell a bit. And also, in the glass settings, I made the transparency value 0 0.1. If you like this video, please share it with others, your support gives me the motivation to do more videos like this, and thanks a lot for all the great comments. Farewell, my fellow blenderers.